Fear and Hunger is one of the best games that I played this year. It is this brutal, unforgiving, just relentless survival horror roguelike made by a developer going by the name of Happy Paintings. I'd always planned to cover it for Shocktober, but man, I was not expecting to fall into the game this hard. And the best part is, I recorded all of it. From my first 10 minute run where my character's life was quite literally cut short, having both of her legs maimed, forcing her to drag herself around the dungeon only to run into this decapitated head of this incredibly powerful mage who felt it necessary to summon whatever the hell this was to finish me off. All the way to my final 50 minute runs where I was hitting S grade endings. Now, I am far from being experienced enough to cover every aspect of this game. How deep this game goes is actually insane. I've been obsessed with watching people's videos on it ever since I finished playing it. Shoutouts to Frapolo94, Worm Girl, and Nico the Circle for the entertaining content surrounding this game. Now, as a final warning, if you want to delve into what this game has to offer, I would highly recommend playing it for yourself. But if you're not into that, sit back and enjoy my journey through the miserable world of fear and hunger. Welcome to Fear and Hunger, everybody. The highly anticipated game. I don't think I've ever received more comments about a game than I have of Fear and Hunger. So I'm, I've, I've been excited to jump into this one for a, a long time. So I bought this in the second one. We're going to see how we do here with the first one. I've stay, steered clear of all videos and all the essays I've seen popping up around. Uh, I've only seen the screenshots on the Steam page. So let's jump in. We're going to be playing, I guess, for the night. Called <laughs> night. The training was bitterly harsh and spared no one. It did not matter if you were of noble origin. A practice sparring match between you and your well-seasoned squire took place at the central training grounds. It is said that the fighter shows their true colors in their first fight. This applied to you too. When you saw the sword come in your way, you quickly stepped aside and dodged it. You learned fast, aren't? Okay, so we're building our character here. Before leaving for your desperate journey, you decided to stock up on equipment and items. I think we'll stock up on food, because uh, the game's called Fear and Hunger. Oh, the dungeon is called Fear and Hunger. I thought those were the emotions you were going to be feeling. I'm just searching for stuff at this point. Two tomatoes? I'd rather starve to death, to be honest. I'm going to get away from those dogs barking. It's making me nervous. Alright, so at the time of recording this, which will be an undisclosed date, I've noticed a few Fear and Hunger videos popping up. I don't know if everyone... This game's like a few years old at this point, so I don't know if everyone decided to just jump on it at the same time, but... A little suspicious. I'm not watching a single thing before I beat it myself. I could have said that better. Alright, we got our first battle here with a main bar. Who swings its tentacles in a hypnotic pace. Uh, already incredibly alarmed, to be honest. Uh, I've seen the warning <laughs> about this game. And the fact the first enemy has a bunch of tentacles that uh, look that way. Oh, he's dead. Okay, you know what? Never mind. The fear part of Fear and Hunger has been abolished. So this game was made in RPG Maker. Just, just incredible atmosphere so far. Oh, okay. Well, I got absorbed into the ground, so that's good. Darkness surrounds you. What else is new, baby? I tell you what, the fear portion of fear and hunger has certainly returned. I was just... Okay, I got a wine vial. I don't know what that is. You don't have to laugh at me, dude. I can't even conceive what you are. Thanks for the nitrogen power and the blue herb, bitch. I'm going into this door to heaven. That was it? I'm out? Alright! We're just in our experimental phase right now. I just want to know what everything does. Like, like all my skills. What guard means. I can probably piece that one together. 
But if you're an expert in this game, this is literally my first run, okay? And by the time you're seeing this video, in October, not only have I played God knows how many hours of it, I've probably finished it. So <laughs> feel free to backseat away, because um, it'll help the algorithm. <laughs> what are we coin flipping here? Whether we contract a disease from the armor? Oh no, we're actually coin flipping whether we find anything. That's good. Tails this time. Shit! There's a mound of human corpses behind me. I am not eating those carrots. I'm definitely not eating that cheese. The level 3 basement. Your dark descent is just in its beginning steps. Thanks for that. You know what, you're banned until you can tell me something positive. Holy shit! What is that? That's Smo from Dark Souls. I fought a main, but that's it. I don't think I can fight that. Just following the blood trail right now. Another human? The Heavy Knight? Mmm. Alright, sir, Seymour. You see that big gold guy out there? You wanna give me a hand? Time to die! I'm gonna hit him with the heads on this one. Let's go! Chainmail hood! Slap that bad boy on. Let's go fight that gold guy. What the hell? Force the gate open means fight the door? Man, this place, Fear and Hunger's dungeon is so brutal you have to fight the door. This... This is a new low for me personally. Look at these giants in the background here. You can't see their faces? I'm very intrigued uh, on what's going on here. These are just cave gnomes. I've avoided them up to this point. They do four damage? Okay, we're good. Was there three of them the whole time? I'm losing my mind. We got fast attack, so we can attack twice in a row. Which is actually huge. Man, that's nothing! Oh god! <laughs> what the hell? That's no cave gnome. Uh... Okay, that's a stinger. That's a stinger, everybody. YouTube, mainly. That's a stinger. It says on the that stinger thrust. Jesus Christ. God almighty. Okay. What what am I flipping for? <laughs> what? Uh oh. I'm dead. I'm still alive? I don't see this as a positive right now. Everything is cold, wet, and stinks repulsively. We're in the level 2 blood pit, actually. And the smell of gore and flesh fills the damp air. I thought I was dead for sure. It told me so. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, that's fine. I guess we'll just beat the game without legs. I picked up some dirt. <laughs> that's really rubbing it in. Oh god, there's another one. Ah, oh, come on, brother. Your friend already got me. He has a crossbow? 700 damage? Oh my god, what? The f we're fighting for our life out here. Yeah, look, the Sans Fortress Snake is something we can't deal with right now. I have a <laughs> Who cares if I have a bad feeling? Look at me. <laughs> what have I got to lose? There's a beheaded wizard? Come on, brother! They took my legs! Can't, can't we be friends? Man, this music, what the hell? What is that? Okay, well... I am hitting him with everything I got. And he is laughing it off. There's something behind you, brother. Ah. Oh. Do not talk to the beheaded wizard. <laughs> All right, take two. We're gonna stick with the knight for now. Let's let's figure out one thing at a time. Ah! I left it too long. That's so loud. They can't get in. Thank God for that. Oh, good God, they got in. Oh my God, and then I ran into a guard. <laughs> oh, good. 
He cut off my arm with his hacksaw. That's good. That's great. That's really... I lost my other arm too. Okay, that's... Let's... We'll go for the headbutt technique here. The dogs were still behind me? Oh, good God. Good God, I'm just smacking her with my stump. I'm dead. That was great. That was great. That last attempt, we got walloped so hard, we didn't even wake up in the flesh pit. Bad feeling behind this door. The guards are so terrifying. I gotta figure out how to beat them. A little girl in the cage? Oh no. Oh, I was locked. What was I thinking? Talk? Are you okay? I'm gonna try and figure these guys out. I mean, it might just be your chance of survival is based on a coin flip, but I... I have a hard time believing that. Getting rid of his axe? 100% a good idea, I can tell you that for free. His stinger? Probably also good to get rid of. No! Alright, we got him. It wasn't great. Oh, he has a meat pie. I cannot imagine eating a meat pie found on these guys. My previous character's probably in there. Oh baby, our first chest. We got a flip for it. Let's... Let's hope for like a claymore. Oh, we got it, we got it. 35 silver coins, okay. Let me just go down to the fear and hunger grocery store and pick up a salami. No, 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 no. Don't come in here, don't come in here. This is the library, this is for... Oh, shh. Why would I have to... <laughs> Oh, here we go again. Right, we're gonna give the knight a break. I feel like I'm just taking her into this place and she's just getting demolished over and over. So we're going to go Art, uh, Outlander. Seems like he's an archer. We get a bone saw. We get some ale. We get a salami, the perfect setup. So there's a main entrance and a side entrance. And I'm now noticing that every time we come into the main entrance, the layout is like completely different. That little girl was in here, now she's not. Oh, she's just in here now, okay. Use the red vial? Please don't throw it at her. Okay, we're good, we got her out. Another party member. Can we just leave? Eh, she can't hold anything. I don't know what I was expecting. Equip her with the giant crossbow of destruction. She's a little girl, man. Look, I'm sorry, little girl, I haven't had a lot of luck in this dungeon. So, you just kind of have to deal with whatever happens. What are these? The new gods? These books are such downers, you know? Death is the answer. Oh good, then I've won the game multiple times. I'm gonna need you to pull your weight here, little girl. Can you like, punch him in his stinger or something? Okay, we got rid of it, that's good. I'm trying to get rid of- maybe we get rid of the legs? And he- No, he can still step. He can still step forward, dude! It's a god! You could devour the remains of the dead god. Yes, please. This room seems important. I wanna light it up. Pray? Oh shit, who did, <laughs> who did I pray to? Oh, I did nothing. So it's just like normal praying. Alright, this is like the hanging gardens. Apparently they don't like black-haired folk here. Just, just good for both of us. We're gonna survive. Do not jump down <laughs> the well that reeks of death. In a hole. This is the new record. Maybe it was a mistake coming to these dungeons. You tell on me. I have had my ass beaten. I think I accidentally shot the priest. There is a bloody toilet hole. You could fit through the hole. Hell no. What the hell? Death, blood, feces, and semen. We got a couple of Iron Maidens here. I think there might be someone in them. We got another bucket. Some blood. You know what? Scoop it up. Probably need it at some point. Oh, Raggy. Buckman. Okay. You telling me, brother? You want to join my party too? You know what, you seem like a coward. Oh, what the hell? Alright, I'm gonna take a nap in this bed while Buckman takes watch. Oh, I actually failed my coin flip, so I guess I'm just gonna 
get bed bugs and die. Trotra? Tro 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 Buckman! Wake me up! What the hell, man? Buckman! If I. Oh. I'm just dead, aren't I? He's gonna torture me to death. Ah! Alright, so he cut me up pretty good, and we had to start again. This room feels somewhat safe. Save and rest? Am I at no torture, please? You gonna save in here? Feels like someone was watching. Okay, so the room is no longer safe. You can you get one save point. Man, now that we have a save point, we can truly experiment. So I'm just gonna take on Smo here. Sorry, Iron Shakespeare. All right, we killed one of his legs. Lantern smash. Double lantern smash. Almost killed me. One of the lanterns in fire. I missed it. And Cinder. <laughs> I stepped on a rusty nail! What the fwack is that? It's like a gambler's bowl from Kingdom Death. Alright, we're going down this elevator. <sighs> Never been down here before, so this should be interesting. Oh god, I wasn't supposed to do that. I feel like we've gone too deep. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to go in there. Oh, hello there. Pocket cat? You kind of look like you have Buckman's clothes. But... What's so wonderful about it? Life is peculiar when you're peculiar. I will trade items for human children. Okay. Never mind. Pocket cat's not a friend anymore. Pocket cat must be like a Twitch streamer or something. Oh my god, I'm getting chased by a dog. <laughs> sure, let's take the- oh, come on, man. Had to get the yellow mucus from the breasts first. See you later, fucker! <laughs> I died because I stepped on that nail earlier! Alright, so that other save file was cursed, so we're, we're starting again. We started a mercenary. I'm gonna call him Merc. It's like, Mer- Don't worry about- it. I remember when we got sucked into the ground? and left immediately. I'm gonna stay in here and see what happens. Cause this guy's screaming cursed. Oh shit, okay. The witch. Steel? What has he got? A purifying talisman? Alright. Black orb? <laughs> the torturer. This was the guy that chopped me up earlier. Um, turns out you can just fight him. Oh my god, his arm's gone. What can he possibly do? Let's rub him real quick. Second floor key and vault key. That's huge. I don't... I don't know... I, what doors need keys yet? Oh, we got him! Well, look at this! Man, progress. Still trying to learn the god. Getting rid of his hack immediately. I know that. That's got to be the way to go. You can guard the grab, which is also huge. Get rid of his stinger, because that's a charge up attack. I just need to know when he charges again. See, like now? No, no. When he takes a step closer. Okay. Oh no, that was it! Yo! Hacksaw, guard, stinger, guard, dead. There's a door behind the bookshelf. I just don't know how to get to it. Yeah, that's one of the that's one of the other playable characters standing right here. <laughs> oh Lord, teach me hurting. Lighting that one opened maybe the bookshelf So that the torch in the Iron Maiden room Possibly opened a bookshelf You can hear breathing from the darkness ahead. We're not gonna deal with that. I forgot where the bookshelf was dude 
Wait, this is new? This has to be new, because I would have opened this chest. Ah, <laughs> come on, opium powder. Penance knights? Okay. The vault key? What the hell? Iron Maiden? Yeah, I ain't stepping in that. I'm getting the lay of the land now, you know? I don't know where this is going to be in the video. But I've been playing this game for hours and hours. We're in the mines again where um, I heard the sound and then I immediately left. So we're just going to like... I guess we're blowing our way through here. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Am I dead? There I am. Oh, we survived. Okay. We're stuck. We... We just starved to death. That's, that's the hunger part. We're gonna try the spiked armor. Because I, I found a ring. Um, it stops bleeding. So we should be good in a spiked covered armor. I've been watching like a bunch of cave videos where people explore caves. Fuck that shit, man. That's what the, the cave in reminded me of that. Yo, look at us. We're in terrible agony. But we look cool. And in the end, that's the only important thing. Oh, I hear breathing ahead. Hey, what are you gonna do about it, huh? Punk bitch, look at me. I'm sick. I might even take a nap. Uh-oh. Ah, don't, I'm, I'm, I was kidding. Come on. What the hell, the floor can break underneath you? Oh, thank God. You can just fall? Is that death? Man. Yeah, you guys have stumbled into your new god. Man in spiky armor. I actually died to the priests, um, so that that's good. Okay, so his name is Mercs with a Z now, because in RPG Maker Z is confirm, and I accidentally hit Z to confirm my name, and I put a Z, I put a Z in the shot. I like your hips and ankles especially. I don't, I just, even for experimental sake, I don't have it in me to trade the little girl to Pocket Cat. Is he gonna, like, stab us and steal her or something? Yeah, I ain't reaching for that. No way. That's another playthrough experiment. This one's going semi-well. What the hell is that? What is that? Ah! Man, these mines are crazy. The amount of shit down here is insane. There's like this tomb of an old knight. Ah, oh, there's a ghost knight as well, I've just found out. So this is the normal knight, the ghost knight. You just can't do anything. Oh, he actually cut off my arm with a horizontal swipe. Meaning I can't use my sword. I'm sorry, little girl, your hero Merc Z is dead. She'll be fine. Looks like Sir Seymour and Buckman have a little friendship going on here. Tell you what, Seymour, don't trust Buckman when you're sleeping. He'll give you up to the torturer for a, for nothing. See, the mercenary has lockpicking, which is was a huge. A doll? Give it to the girl? Okay. She loves it. I don't know what that means, but. So on a little cursed door, we used a purifying talisman, and we have like a skill tree. With all these neat uh, skills in it. I think I can only take blood portal, because it's in the little circle over there, so we'll take that for now. Needleworm sounds good. So it turns out, I've run away from this guy, because he's big and scary. But the injuries have persisted. Like, he's still missing his stinger, stinger and his arm. So I don't know if he can just, like, get a few little attacks in and then run. Or if he... That's not good. That, that's... Horrific. Thin creature. He's gonna turn... Look, you know what? You wanna be a butterfly? Go for it, brother. Who am I to stop you? This place is a nightmare. 
Oh my god. I cannot show you any of this. There is no way. I can't convince YouTube this is a stinger. I got shot by an arrow. Come on, man. I wasn't even doing commentary. That's oh, another one of these rooms. Oh god. Blood portal is a quick travel system? Why did you call it blood portal? That sounds horrific. I thought it was going to be bad. I mean, I don't want to say it, but the feeling of playing the original Dark Souls for the first time ever, being terrified of everything, begging for a new bonfire, that's what this feels like. I'm like, how is this new enemy going to demolish me instantly? Like, what one move am I going to miss? And he's going to pop both my legs off and then kill the girl in a single hit. Do I go for the legs? The arms? Do I try the head? I can't hit shit. Maybe I just won't hit anything. He's dancing, so I yeah, I think he, like his legs... I. You cut their legs and then you can go for their head. It's huge. Oh, that's that's crow man. I ain't dealing with that. Hello. We have like Madokans living down here from Abe's Exodus. They're not attacking me. Oh god, don't take their stones. That's probably like their currency. I love this guy's hat. Yo, he's a vendor. We can buy dried meat or a blue vial, which is for healing. That's kind of big. Trying to communicate with him. Pointing its finger out, making motions with her mouth. Yes, we came from the surface. <laughs> what the hell? Jesus, we're dealing with like some old god shit here. It was only a matter of time. That's cool as hell though. Alright, we're gonna take the alien cube. The HR Geiger cube here. I didn't take it before because I didn't... Oh god, they hate me. The object is an ancient looking cube with ornaments and decorations twisting around. Hey, that's the knight! Hey, stop that! Okay, uh, convincing YouTube that that's a stinger. Now that's, uh, that's a whole nother battle. So we're just gonna blow that one out. Real easy. We got rid of it. We got rid of it and then it died. <laughs> Look at this. Her name is Das. We are getting ourselves a party now. Actually, the game crashed and I... There's nothing I can do about it! Okay, so I did see a picture of someone with a, the dog on their team. So I'm guessing we can like... We can pat it or something. We can be friendly. We can throw it a bone. We can... Talk to it. Offer it some rotten meat? That didn't work. Shit, man. Do we need, like, a... Uh, something specific? Have some more rotten meat? Yo! We got the dog! This was the thing that chased us before. Night, night lurch. Has no vision. Because of, uh, the horns coming out of its eye sockets. The Fear and Hunger, like, super fans, or the people who play this game, will look at Merc's debuffs and know exactly what happened. This knight is like my roadblock right now. He is so brutal, his horizontal sweep is just... relentless. No! We lost the little girl. She doesn't really do anything anyway, but that's, that's kind of sad. Here's what happens when you don't get into battle with one of the yellow priests. They literally just keep <laughs> popping off your limbs. Until you have to quit breathing. Okay, we started again. I've done a few runs, but usually they've all ended poorly. Nothing really new happened. I did find this room though. And we found Miasma. Which is a, a sword that has the house, the strength of six men. Absolutely put that on. 
That is 100% me just sitting there right now. But me and Shocktober editing. What is this? What's going on? What's happening? Oh, shit. Oh, no, I shouldn't have picked up mia miasma. I knew, like, you can't just pick up a sword in fear and hunger for free like that. I killed everyone. So there's a lot of lore throughout this game in these books. Probably gonna wait until, like, I just watch a full lore video. Wait, what the hell? That was a save book? Okay, so this is where we get our first ending in quotation marks. A, a pretty bad one, but we reach the person that we're looking for in the Fear and Hunger dungeon. He's already dead because we took too long. There is a way to get to him faster, so he's alive, but, you know, I had no idea what I was doing. So we got to him, he's dead. Technically, at this point, you can just leave. I didn't, but you can, and that gets you ending E, which is escape in question in a question mark. Because you can never really escape this dungeon. So I know they said I failed, but it didn't game over me. They're gonna let me keep going. Apparently the, that cube that I picked up from those Madokans opens this door. The girl's terrified, so am I. I'm a grown-ass man. Really stumbled into it here, haven't we? <laughs> it's like jeepers creepers out here. Hey, and now, now he's, a, he's got... Okay, now he's got one arm. I was gonna say, now he's got the same... He's dead, but okay, he looked a lot scarier than he was. That was nothing. Didn't want to beat his body. Search his body. Trench coat! Man, we have stumbled into like an old city or something. This... This dungeon has opened up. It's like Anno Londo when you... You stab the shit out of Guinevere. It seems I've been jumped by a golden baby. Really... Really props to... Happy paintings for giving him underwear. That was a huge play, I think. Well, that was... That was both horrific and depressing at the same time. Let's kill this thing. New gods, you have given me three questions. But I only have one. Where am I? Look, if you don't understand that question, what kind of gods are you? Please just let me rest without getting jumped by some horrendous creature. Oh, we're, we're actually just going to fall into a feverish dream. <laughs> the world of fear and hunger is already wild. These dreams are going to be completely fucked. Oh god, it's Bloodborne. Skin Granny. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's better than the alternative. No Skin Grandpa. It has gotten considerably worse. <laughs> We're still in the dream world, but something tells me these wounds aren't gonna disappear when we wake up. Skin Granny is flexing its fingers. Just get rid of the hands, man. We can't... We can't be- the girl is on one health. No! Skin Granny hates the girl! We are no longer in the dream. I no, have no idea how to get into that door yet. You can travel back between the present and the past through this thing, but then there's this big legless cunt in the way. Like, what do you mean by that? Good God! What the hell was that? Lord of the Flies? Oh, God! The, the, the Gaunt Knight, what is this place? This place is hell, take me back to the dungeon! Okay, the Gaunt Knight's pretty cool. But he is going to kill Moonless. Which, as far as I'm concerned, is unacceptable. Look how 
Look at my debuffs on my characters. This is broken bones, poison, bleeding. Oh, there goes Moonless. Okay, I reloaded back to that bed. Unfortunately, the the little girl died to skin granny, so she didn't survive the save. But I don't want to lose the dog, you know? Okay, we stumbled into a lab, and I've like created a clone, a naked clone of myself over there. He's kind of walking around aimlessly right now. I don't know why I did that. We're just gonna let him let him live down here with the others. He's following me. This is gonna he's gonna kill me or something. It's gonna bite me in the ass somehow. How do I know this? Because everything kills me in this game. Oh! <laughs> yeah, little bastard. Hey, leave me alone! What the hell are these? Stop! Just stop it! That, that spider's going out of its way to get me. Okay, he's left. What are the... Is this an elevator? <laughs> this is a classic book. My dad used to read me this one when I was three. Well, this room is filled with meat-eating flies. Do not jump down the pit of torment. <laughs> Who would do that? What? Oh, yeah, sacrifice the cask. Why not? I don't want him becoming stronger and then eventually killing me. What's worse, you guys think? Primary pain or secondary pain? What the hell was that? Okay, so we, we sacrificed ourselves to like the devil god or something. Oh. Is that him? Without saying anything, the tormented one stares at you. Holy shit, he's got like a flesh dress on. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh, we already got one of his arms. That's huge. He's bleeding, which, looking at him, it's probably not that hard to do. Uh, this guy was... Uh, it might have not been the same guy, but he was, he was following me around before. Okay, he's got no arms. We got this. You don't want to see the Chains of Torment. That does so much damage. I'm on death's door, baby. So you don't actually control Moonless, by the way. She just fights away. Oh, come on. There's a phase two. Oh, of course there's a phase two. You think I was just going to come in here and polish off the Tormented one with a couple of slaps? That previous save was a bust. Let's try again. This time, we don't attack his arms because he doesn't do anything with them. He just has chains of torment. That was a good hit, Das. So it's phase two, you got to temporarily destroy his spinning wheels. And then he stops moving, which makes allows you to attack him because of the little exclamation point. For like two turns. Oh my god, Mercs, that was some damage. I hate that my save file has Merc with a Z, a Z at the end, but what can you do? Don't... No! Moonless! It has to be this hit, otherwise I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, this run is doomed, but we did it. Oh, I'm literally on one health. I do not feel sorry for that tormented deity. We got the Tormented Soul, okay. I'm dead. Yeah, that shiny thing we were talking about in the lake, I decided to come pick it up. I... it summoned this giant, like, salamander thing. I'm also trying out the Dark Priest. Uh, they can summon... well, they can't summon, but they can resurrect the skeletons that are laying around. So I got Skelly with me, which is just... just a huge boon for me. Alright, we reached our current goal. We got to the man, he's not dead. I don't know if it's like a literal time thing, as you just have to get to him in time, but I kind of rushed here. Picked up a couple of party members. We got Ragnavalda. Ragnav so 
So do we, can we just leave now? Is that like mission accomplished? Ending achieved? Nah, he wants to go to the ancient city! My man is ripped. So I've dealt with this crow head before. And by I dealt with, I mean he turned up and pecked all my characters' heads off instantly. Fighting this guy head on, not a good idea. So I try and blind him and poison him. And then just start defending and pray that he doesn't either peck one of your eyes out with birds or just straight up peck your whole head off and insta kill you. Poison does a lot of damage and his head is so hard to hit unless you destroy his legs. But Black Orbs is also kind of correct. See, like 500 damage of poison. Please don't blind me. All right, we, we're too good at this now. So we rescued him. I'm just going to try and leave. Oh, you know, he's going back in. Oh, and Das has gone with him. Oh, okay, well, that's a devastating ending. <laughs> You take one more look at the fortress just to make sure you really did make it out. No! Ending E. Escape? So at this point in the game, it was just all about exploring. I had no clear direction of where to go next. And while exploring, I found whatever this was. Apparently this is like a scarab. I also found a guard that looked like he was forged with moonless but also had a giant gaping mouth but the most important thing we found was Val Teal. He was one of the souls we need to get into that door. I think we need a total of three. We know the tormented soul is one of them. We know we get one after the skin granny in the dream and then this guy should be the final one so we can finally get into that you know the legless door. This boss theme is so menacing. I love it. So that's John my zombie companion. Dark Priest can also like resurrect dead people. Ignore what he's wearing. That wouldn't that wouldn't be my first choice for zombies, but we're gonna we're gonna take out this damn tormented one. We also got this AoE heal. It's insane. Look at that. <laughs> I think we're actually gonna win it. Without losing a single member. Like we can lose John, that's fine. He's he's just a zombie idiot. Let's go! I see you have the endless soul, the tormented soul, and the enlightened soul. Yes, sir. We can pass through. You want to challenge me? All right, let's go. <laughs> Brother, if you're smashing me for 14 health a pop, you're in big trouble. Bye-bye. See you in hell, brother. The atmosphere and music in this game is just incredible. No, 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 no. No more dogs. What are the dogs doing in here? What the hell? You gonna release them on me? I bet he is. Avoid the fires. I don't know what those are, so we're gonna avoid them like it's Final Fantasy VII. You see Francois, the dominating one, sitting on the throne. He... Is he one of the statues in the dungeon? Was it... Are they the new gods? Or the, I think they're the old gods? New gods? That was so long ago, but I remember... His moustache. <laughs> hey, he liked that one. Alright, let's fight this guy. We have a pretty good save point. But I, I'm, I'm a little worried. We could hit him with hurting. Black Orb does a lot of damage. We could try to talk to him about this. Like... Let's talk to him. Again, we're just experimenting. We'll see what happens. I do want to get rid of his sword as well, though. Like, I'm, hopefully that doesn't piss him off that he stops talking to me. Oh, that... He doesn't do that much damage. Okay, I think his fire hand is actually considerably worse than the cutlass. But it's too late. I've sent the commands through. They're going for the sword. Prepare to die like a worm. I don't think we're going to talk this guy down. Uh... <laughs> That's pretty good. Not in a millionaire. Hey, don't call me a weasel. We're just going to kill him. He's got no arms. What's, what can he do? Uh oh. Oh shit, he turned into golden freezer. Four, eleven hundred. We did it. Let's go. Just another god crumbling before me. Ooh, 
domination soul. So at this point, I thought the game was pretty much over for this save. I sat on the throne and got teleported to this completely different world. And then I got almost immediately killed by this giant flesh T-Rex. So that put really put me back in my place. <laughs> I ended up going back in and exploring a little bit harder and hiding from the T-Rex that now I now realize I could not beat. And instead I find like a version of myself with a mask on. But basically you have the choice of saving mankind with your strength or influencing the people through religion. Both of them pretty much equals the same ending here, which is ending D a new god. But before finishing the video, I wanted to get an S plus ending in some manner, so I looked up some, some tips, some hints on how to do it, and thank god I did because I would have never figured this shit out. You have to play on Fear and Hunger, which is the hardest difficulty. You have to solo run it, so I chose Das, so we're doing a solo run of Das through Fear and Hunger on the hardest difficulty. There's these torn up notes or instructions around the entire game in very specific spots, so I went around and grabbed all of those got very lucky I didn't get ravaged by some sort of monster that I couldn't escape from. The spell is a resurrection spell, so you want to get to the guy that you're trying to rescue while he's dead. You resurrect him and it just turns him into this horrendous flesh creature. And you get this unique art, it's so good. It's, I'm glad that I, I went through the trouble to get this ending. I didn't do any uh, live commentary on it because I was just kind of zooming through it. But uh, yeah, what a Fear and Hunger, a fantastic game. At this point I have about almost 20 hours in it. I, I'm very much looking forward to playing the second one at some point. If you want to see that, be sure to let me know down below. This has been Shocktober 2023. I hope you enjoyed the videos. Uh, thank you for picking up merch if you did. And uh, back to regular scheduling after I take a little bit of a break because this month almost killed me. <laughs>